in the Amakal. Oh, I'm so excited. I could burst. <laughs> so finally, 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 I released the pattern of one month ago to give everybody time to get their supplies uh, ready and everything. But now today we are officially starting. So today I'm going to show you the first part, one whole square of the Amma. Uh, I'm Macal, and then I will be doing one tutorial for each part, seven parts total, each Friday now until like mid November. Por ahí. Uh, so today uh, I'm going to show you the Amasaga. I'm going to show you the blankets again because I did show you guys in the live uh, launch, but I'm going to show you a bit more because they are so pretty. And while I have them, I'm going to have to send these back. I do not want to. <laughs> I'm holding them hostage. So this here is the official. Happy, happy Amma kit, and I absolutely love these colors. These are um, my specially dyed Icelandic wool Lietlopi colors, and I'm so happy with this. My friend Catherine Fuller made this one for me, and it's just gorgeous. So you can get the kits for this on my website and in some other colors too, actually. So this is the um, traditional with the really big squares, as you can see, and then we also have the simple version, and you can make this with a kit as well. This one here was made by Maria Miguel in, Sp in Spain. Whoopa! Isn't it gorgeous? So this is the simple version where you make smaller squares and then you make more of them, obviously. These are the medium-sized blankets, all of these, which I'm showing you here. And so, let's see if we can find the Amasaga square here somewhere. So we're kicking it off with, um, here it is. So we're kicking it up, off with Amasaga. And it's really simple, and that's why I decided to start with this one. No extra, really, techniques or anything. It's really straightforward. And uh, then in each of the other parts, I'll just be showing you how to make all the different centers. Remember, there are like five different centers for all my grannies. Uh, this was the uh, happy granny in the simple version. And then, of course, you can do it in two colors, which is actually just gorgeous. And I love it. I can never manage to make anything in two colors, but... Then I always love seeing my designs in two colors only. So look at this. Ah, oh, isn't it gorgeous? This is also made by Maria, and this is the uh, simple version, just in two colors. And I mean, I absolutely love it, love it. And it's so, it looks just so clean and sort of modern. So I really like this version. This is the medium as well. And then there's the Black Beauty, my favorite, made by my friend Sumi in India. Should I do it again? <laughs> I love this one. It has this is what I call the Viking granny because it sort of has this ancient look to it, doesn't it? And it's just so core in these. Uh, this is what we call these sheep colors, the natural colors in Iceland because we have sheep of all colors, yeah. So these are like natural colors, and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. This is the traditional medium, and you can get a kit for this as well on my website uh, in the Icelandic Yetlope. All links below, obviously, in the description, and then if you're not, if you want to join in and you're maybe not ready to commit to a big blanket, <laughs> then you can always opt for a cushion. So then you just make one big, uh, big uh, square and then add the traditional border. And I think these are just gorgeous. This, this one are made by Mariela in Spain as well. So uh, that's another option. You could go for, and these are perfect Christmas present, you guys. I, th I know you're th thinking about Christmas presents already. I should actually make um, maybe a few of these for Christmas. Uh, and in these are actually Christmas colors, you know, and it looks really, this is kind of, it almost looks like a Christmassy pattern like this. Okay, yeah, my head is in Christmas and it's only, it's only November. But yeah, so that's, that's what you could do, obviously. And talking about Christmas, I'm already on to my next pattern. So I wanted to show you this here has already gone into testing my Whoopa Carti. I absolutely love it. It's in wool and it's so just uh, cozy and perfect for winter because it's suddenly winter is upon us and I'm just, I'm just not ready. I swear it. <laughs> so that's the time to cozy up and, and crochet yourself a nice slouchy sweater. And I think that I will just not be taking this off at all. I absolutely love it. And have already started one for my husband as well. So um, these are really great. So this is what's coming next up. It's in testing. And after we finish the Amakal, then uh, this will be next up. But maybe just start with what we're doing now, <laughs> which is the launch, the big launch. We're finally doing it. Oh my God, 
I can't wait to see all you guys uh, AMA blankets and projects and uh, I know some of you have already started everybody's been super nice about I asked everybody not to post pics on social media until we officially start the call even if the pattern's out there and you've been so nice I was like oh my god it's amazing everybody's just doing as I told as I asked I wish it was like that in my home <laughs> uh, but yeah so but now once the, the, the launch is live and the, the first tutorial is up, so just go crazy and post all your pics willy-nilly because I know some of you have started and I can't wait to see your armor projects. Such fun with the card. So, um, I've talked a lot. I think I've said all I'm going to say. Mm, let's do this! I'm a Carl, here we come! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Okay, so off we go on the Amakal. Oh my god. So I, like I said, we're going to start with Amasaga. And these are all my Amasaga squares here. And as you can see, I will usually use two uh, different colors for my, my rows. I would use one for the center and then one for the petals and then the third color be always the same one for all my my um, frames. Uh, in this one here now I am just going to use three colors when we start now I'm just going to use two color bees one for the complete rows all the way up to here and then one for here and so officially this is because then uh, it's just easier and, and more simple to show you with one color. But uh, the truth is that <laughs> I actually decided like really last minute that I wanted to include uh, one of each square with just the whole, just same color for the whole rows. And I'd already made all my other size squares. So there you go. Um, official and real reason <laughs> but i do love this brown here and this is one of the special the colors that uh, east text dyed for me in the little bit for the special ones for the kit and this is the 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 sheep black which i absolutely love i think it's gorgeous it's sort of like natural black and the white which is not completely like screaming white or anything it's like sort of soft white so these are the these are the constant in my blanket this is always the color for the frame color on each and this is the main color and then the, for now we will use this as our second color b but you can use uh two color b's for your your star and i usually do or even three but um we're gonna start up with this now okay off we go okay off we go um, so we're always using our book number four, which would be this one here. And obviously you'll need some scissors and a uh, needle as well. So this goes here. Um, and we always start with color A, which is the main color which is white in my blanket, but you can also choose to do like an extra splash of color in the middle. I don't usually do those with the sagas, but you can though. This is optional. So we start with round one and I forgot to get the... Uh, <laughs> Got to do this. Yes, yes, yes. Everything under control. Organization. There we go. Easily fixed. As always, when making my motifs, I'm going to start with the magic circle. And we start by doing two chains. Get ourselves up to the right level here. And then we're going to do 15 half double crochet stitches. So yarn over, go into your magic loop. Always take care to work over your tail here. Come up and it's three loops on your hook and then get the yarn again and pull through all three as a half double crochet 
two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Okay, now I'm going to break the yarn just to get the neater circle there in the middle and pull your yarn all the way up through your last loop and now comes to the magic of the magic circle when you pull the 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 tail from the beginning of the magic circle and hold on to your crochet and just pull it together do take care if you're working with the loppy with the wool to just you know always go tightly here um not tightly close to the tail here so that it won't break because the loppy will break it's not like acrylic or, or cotton okay you see it pulls completely together like so and then we are going to find our first half double crochet so if you see here we have one and two chains and this is our first half double crochet here so we're going to pop our hook under from the back under both loops of the first half double crochet and get our yarn here the tail that we cut at the end of the round and pull it under like so and then we're going to insert our hook into the back loop from the back here of the last half double crochet of the round and pull our yarn back through that like so and then we have the 16th and last stitch here okay so round one for amasaya and all the amma squares is uh, 15 half double crochets and then we make the 16th stitch with the invisible join like so and you do not have to um, weave in your this tail here at this moment we will just work over it but what you can do and I will sometimes do because it's just nicer to not be working with the tails when we continue is to weave in your initial initial um, end here from the magic circle so then we're just done with that yeah and what you do want to do when doing the magic circle is that you don't want to give that like an extra careful weaving in because it is magical and just as we pulled it together it can pull out again so i usually do it like three or even four times just like so okay Da, da, da. cut the yarn and there you go that was round one okay on to round two and now we start with our color B the first pattern color here and you can start wherever uh, on the round I like to start do you see where we did the the last stitch here this one here is the last one I like to start in the, the one next to it so that way I can work over my tail from color B here and over the tail from from the round one on the other side so insert your hook into whichever stitch or this one to the back loop of round one pull your new yarn up and do one chain to fasten it and tighten it nicely and we're going to work over our tail here so now we start by making one single crochet into the same stitch as we fastened our yarn into always into the back loop you guys that's one and then we're going to do three more always working over our tail here so we don't have to view that in one and two and whoop, three so now we have a total of four have um, single crochets here and now we're going to make the first corner so then we do two chains and then we do one single crochet into the same si stitch as we did our last single crochet here and then four single crochets one two three and four 
That's a five total then, because we did one here first. And now we're going to do another corner. Two chains, and now I'm going to drop my, my tail here from color B. And I'm going to work over my tail from round one. Okay. And again, we do the same. We do one single crochet into the same stitch as we worked the last single crochet here before the, before the, the, oh, it's not quite nice enough, is that stitch? So I'm just going to redo that. Before we do this, it's the same here. There are two single crochets into the same stitch here, right? So we do the two chains and then the first single crochet after the two chains goes into the same stitch as the last single crochet before the, the two chains, like so, and then four more. So it's always five single crochets for each side. So in this round, basically, we're turning a single uh, circle into a square, right? Do, 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 do. Okay, now we have five again, then we do another corner two chains and then the first single crochet after the chains goes into the same stitch as the last single crochet one and whoop, always working over the the tail two three and four and here it gets a bit tricky because when we use this uh, invisible join technique then i mean it looks like a stitch but obviously it isn't you know so <laughs> so just take care to just go into this stitch here, the fourth, and the fifth then lands here in our uh, invisible join stitch. Okay, that's five. And then we're going to do two chains, one and two, and then one single crochet into the, the same as this one here. And remember, so in the beginning of the round, this was not neat at all, Tina, what's happening here? Uh. And remember, so at the beginning of the round, we only had four and we want five for each, each side. So now we have this last single crochet here, plus the four, and then we have five on this side as well. And so the other good bit about doing, uh, lining it up like this, having this last two of the, of the round made into the, um, the invisible joint is that now we can pull, you see, there's a bit of a gap here. So now we can pull at our end, our tail from, from round one and that gap will disappear. Et voila. Okay. And so now we join into the back loop of the first single crochet of the current round of round two with color A again, because we're going to always be doing A, B, A, B, A, B. Okay. And so we skip the chain here. We did a chain at the beginning of the round. We're not going to work into that. We're going to insert that hook into the back loop of the first single crochet of the current round and pull our yarn up and do a slip stitch like this and one chain here. Okay. So this does not look as neat as I <laughs> would hope for but it will all uh, remedy itself once we continue and now what we can do is just uh, pull at these here too nice and tight and cut them because we've already worked over those two tails yeah getting rid of that that's nice isn't it Okay, so we have a little circle in a not very neat square, but it will look grand, I promise. <laughs> Looks great when I just put it away a bit further away from the camera, right? <laughs> round two, all done. Okay, on we go to round three. And now remember that round three and all odd number rounds are with color A, the main color. Okay, so we already did the chain here at the beginning of the round because it's just silly not to do it when you join. And now we're going to start this round by main, making one double crochet. And as you know, in double in mosaic crochet, uh, the double crochets always go down one round. So we're going to yarn over and we're going to not go into this one, but in the stitch here below into the white, into the stitch from round one. Okay, just here smack in the middle of the of this side and pull your yarn up so like so so now we have three 
loops up on our hook. We just worked into the loop that we're, we're um, stitching into. And then you yarn over and go through two and yarn over and go through two like so. Okay, and now I'm going to take my tail here because we had a new tail here with color A because we did away with our tail from round one. And I'm going to work over it here for the last few, the first few stitches. Okay, so now we do, we did one sing, uh, double crochet and now we're going to do three single crochets. One and two and three and the last one lands in the first corner chain and always remember in the corner chains we're going to just be working the same as all the other stitches always into the back loop of the corner chain not into the chain space okay one double three singles and then we do two chains okay and now we get to the repeat and now we do three single crochets first one lands in the second corner chain like so, I'm going to continue here a few more stitches, working over my tail. One and two and three. And now I'm going to drop my tail. And then we do one double crochet down one round. Pull your yarn up, you have three on your hook, and pull three two, two, through two and two, like so. And another three single crochets. The third one lands in the first corner chain and then chain two so this is the repeat here this is what we're going to do on each side three single crochets one double three singles and two chains and do take care here that we want our double crochet to be right smack in the middle of our each side okay and we go again three singles one double down and three singles. The third one lands in the first corner chain and then chain two. Okay. And then we're to the third side here again, three singles, one double, it goes down one round, like so. And then three single crochets, the last one in the first corner chain here was just in the back loop of the corner chains as well and two chains and now we're just going to finish the round by by completing this first side we started with here and we're going to do three single crochets first one in the corner chain second here and the third one when we do the last single crochet here of the round we're going to go into this one here and we're going to put our color B up on our hook and work over our tail before changing the color. So the last stitch of the round, if it's a single crochet, it's really not possible with a double crochet. So if it's a single crochet, I always pop my upcoming color up on the hook and work my last single crochet of the round around the upcoming color. And that way you hide it a bit better from the back side. Yeah. OK. And then we join with the new color and always just pull really tightly here. And remember again, when pulling on the lobby, uh, on the wool, you have to take care to not, you know, just do, you know, pull, but gently <laughs> because it breaks, uh, not as easily as the ploppy, but you know, it does break. So just hold close to it, um, to the, to the source of it, to the origin of the, <laughs> the tail. I've, I'm on round three and I'm still, I'm, I'm starting to bubble. Uh, pull it nice and tight because we want our joints to be nice and tight. And then we're going to join by skipping this, uh, chain stitch here from the beginning of the round and we're going to join into the back loop of the first double crochet of the round with color B, our our pattern color, just with a slip stitch shoot, shoot, like so and then chain one and do it all nice and tight. Okay, so that was round three and we can cut our our tail here as well because we we worked over it and just pull at that as well always the the big trick with the join really is just to have it really tight like it's it's almost impossible to make it too tight and uh, don't hold me responsible for that but you know basically that's the the trick and you see here now you see how i worked the last stitch here around the the brown before carrying it up so that kind of hides it a bit from the back side yeah Okay, that was round three, all done. And as promised, it looks way better <laughs> already, right? <laughs> Yay!
Little baby saga. <laughs> On we go to round four. And now we're working with color B, as always, in the, um, what's it called? The, um, not the odd numbers, but the even number rows, rounds. Okay, so we already did the, the chain here. And now we're going to start it right off with a double crochet. So yarn over. And now we're going to place this this double crochet here just just right after the double crochet from last round into this one here you see okay pull your yarn up like so and then through two and two okay that was one double crochet and then we're going to do three single crochets the third one lands in the corner chain the first corner chain and then we're going to chain two and now we get to the repeat for round four and that is three single crochets the first one lands in the second corner chain one double down just before the double crochet from last round one single crochet into the back loop of the double crochet from last round and another double on the other side kind of framing it up here and then three single crochets this is really the reason also I wanted to start with Saga is because it's so easy. And two chains for the corner. Okay, so this is our repeat for round four. We do three single crochets, one double just before the double crochet from last round, one single crochet into that one, one double right after it, and then three single crochets and two chains. Yeah, on we go. I'm just gonna do the complete rounds here now when it's so short. So it's three singles, one double, one single, one double, and three singles. And then two chains. That's two repeat duns. Done. Duns. <laughs> uh, now on to the last repeat. And I will tell you while I do that is that I have come to term with this being slow TV. So I always felt like I should be hurrying it along, but it's okay that it's slow TV. You can always fast forward or, you know, just use this to go to sleep. <laughs> okay, finishing my third repeat here for round four. Yep, and then we're going to finish the round by doing three single crochets. One, two, and three. And now we're going to do one double crochet, and I'm going to show you a little trick. Because the thing is that I'm always moving uh, the join one stitch to the left. If you're uh, left-handed, this will be to, you, to your right. And the reason why I do this is just to hide it. And basically, and the best trick is to hide it behind a double crochet, then you can't see it. But here we had the join before we had any double crochet. So if you look very closely here, I hope you can see this, we sort of have uh, the one stitch we could go into here. I'm going to use a smaller needle to point this out. So this one stitch here we could go into, this one here, but there is another one sort of hidden here below this one. And we really want to go to the, into the one that is below just to hide that first join a bit better. Okay, so we yarn over and we go into the stitch here that is sort of below here and do one double crochet there. And now we do the last single crochet of the round and then we're gonna work over our upcoming color. So I'm going to insert my hook here into the stitch that I'm working into, pop my my white here, my color A up on the hook and work the last single crochet of the round around my new color to hide it a bit from the back. OK, then we drop color B and join with color A. And again, always do it nice and tight, tuck at it nicely before joining. And we insert our hook into the back loop of the first double crochet of the round and join with a slip stitch. Swoosh, swoosh. OK. And I'm going to continue cheating and just doing my chain here right after, although that's, you know, fact is uh, it's part of round five, but, you know, it's just silly not to. So there you go. It's taking shape. So this was round four. <laughs> <laughs> OK, on to round five again with color A. 
and we start as always by doing a double one double crochet here down okay and then we're going to do three single crochets until we get to the corner the last of the three lands in the first corner chain and chain two and now to the repeat for round five it's three single crochets first one went here in the second corner chain and then we're going to do one double again three singles all the singles always into the back loop you guys one double and three singles the third one lands here in the first corner chain and then we chain two for the corner okay so this is the repeat for round five let's do it again three single crochets one double just before our double here from round four and then we're going to do three singles and these three singles land here on the first double from last round the one here in between and the second double and now we're going to do one double on the other side of this double here we're kind of like framing these up yeah and then we do three single crochets the third one lands in the first corner chain and chain two for the corner. Okay. Last out of the three repeats here. Oh, it's the same. Isn't this one of the great thing about crochets? It's rep, rep, how do you say this? Repet, repetitiveness. Like you're always repeating stuff. <laughs> I speak Icelandic very well, you just, you know, for your information. <laughs> Repetitiveness. Mm, I'll just stop trying to say it, but it's a good thing though. I'm sure you get it. Uh, okay, two chains here to finish the last repeat. And now we're going to finish our, our first side here. Uh, finish the round and we do three single crochets. One, two, three, and one double down. So, and three single crochets. And when we do our third and last single crochet of the round, we're going to pop our color B here up onto the hook, tuck at it so everything is nice and tight at the, the join, and do our last single crochet around the upcoming color. And then we join into the back loop of the first double crochet of the round, like so, with a slip stitch, nice and tight, and one chain. There we go. So that was round five. On to round six. And now we're working with the pattern color again. And we are going to start as always doing one double crochet. And then we do three singles. The last one lands in the first corner chain and two chains and then we're up to our repeat for round six and that is three single crochets and two and three one double and then we do two single crochets and one double here in the middle again two singles and one double and three singles. The last one lands in the first corner chain and then chain two for the corner. Okay, so this is the repeat for round six. Three single crochets, one double, two singles, one double, two singles, one double, three singles and the two corner chains. Okay, I did two more repeats here and I'm going to show you now how to finish round six. And then we do three single crochets, one double, two singles, one double here right in the middle of the side and two single crochets. 
and as always the last single crochet pop your upcoming yarn up to the hook and work your last single crochet around that one so it's a bit hidden from the back side and always tuck at it nice before joining and now we're going to join into the back loop of the first double crochet of the round with our new color with a slip stitch foot foot like so and chain one to secure it okay so that was round six and actually if you are want, would want to use uh, two colors for your for color B for the rows here, like I did, for example, in this one here, then you would cut your color B now and start with another color B for round uh, eight. But I'm just gonna continue with the same, yeah? Whoop. There we go. That's round six, all done. On to round seven, and now we're using color A again, our main color. And if you did cut your yarn to change your colors, then I would work over my tail here, but I'm not going to do that. And so we start by doing the first chain, obviously, that we already did. And then we're just going to do four single crochets here now. So it's one and two, three and four. And the fourth lands here in the first corner chain. And now we get to the repeat for round seven. It's no, sorry, two chains. So then we get to the repeat. Okay onto the repeat. We're going to do five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. And the fifth here lands in the, in the, in the double crochet. And now we're going to do two double crochets. One and two. And then we're going to do one single crochet into the double crochet from last round. And again, two double crochets. And five singles. And the fifth here lands in the first corner chain. And then we chain two for the corner. Okay, so this is the repeat for round seven. It's five single crochets, two doubles, one single, two doubles, five singles and two chains for the corner. So that's the repeats and I'm gonna go ahead and do two more repeats and then show you how to finish the round. Okay, I've done two more repeats for the two other sides and now we're gonna finish the round and we do five single crochets. The fifth here lands in the double crochet you see and then we do two double crochets one single two doubles oops and here on the join again we have sort of like two choices here, this stitch here, and the lower one, always choose the lower one when possible. Go here into the double crochet from round five. That's the last double crochet of this round, like so. And then we're gonna do the last single crochet of the round and pop our color B up on here, as always. And do the last single crochet here like so, and then join into the back loop of the first single crochet of the round. And do this with color B. If you're introducing a new color, then you just do this with your new color. Like so, foot, foot, and chain one to fasten it and always make it all nice and tight. Okay, so this was round seven, all done. And if you're doing the, the tiny um, uh, squares, then this is it then. The tiny version stops after round seven. And what I love about these is that it makes like these little cute uh, hearts sort of in the corner. <laughs> okay, round seven, all done. Whoop, whoop. On to round eight. Always with pattern color B in round, in, 
in the even number rounds. And we start this round by doing four single crochets. And the fourth one lands in the first corner chain. And two uh, chains. And now we get to the repeat for round eight, which is very easy. It's 17 single crochets and then two chains. So we're just doing single crochets in this round, really. So it's just one single crochet into each and every back loop. First one here in the second corner chain, obviously. And when we get to the other side, <laughs> Uh, the end of this side here, then the almost there, 15, 16, and the 17th lands in the first corner chain here, and then you chain two for the corner. So it's all just single crochets, but obviously we want to have the, the, the correct stitch count. So that's 17 single crochets and two double crochets. No, two chains here in the corner. Okay, I'm gonna do the two other sides repeats, just the same, 17 single crochets and two chains for the corner. Okay, I've done the, the repeat here, the two more repeats, and then we're gonna finish the round here with 13 single crochets. We started with four, so we need 13 now here to get our 17 for each side. So it's just, one into each first one lands in the first in the second corner chain there obviously and then just one single crochet into each we're kind of laying the groundwork here for our the petals of our eight petal rows okay 12 and the 13th and the the, fa the last one here goes in is the last one of the last single crochet of the round and as always we're going to pop our upcoming color here up onto the hook tuck at it so it's all nice and tight at the join and work our last single crochet of the round around the upcoming color tuck some more and join into the back loop of the first single crochet of the round with the new color slip stitch foot foot like so and one chain to fasten it yeah Okay, so that was round eight. And now we're almost getting to the part where we start making the petals to our rows. <laughs> nice. On to round nine. And now we're working with color A, the main color. And we are going to start by doing two single crochets. One and two. And now we're going to do some DCs here over the corner. So we're going to do two double crochets into the first corner chain here from round seven into the white. Okay, so this is a bit like not the very most pleasant part to work into. <laughs> not difficult, just, you know, a bit of an extra one and two into the same stitch here, which is the first corner chain the front loop of the first corner chain from round seven, yeah? And then we're gonna chain two for the corner. And now we get to our repeat for round nine. And we're gonna do two double crochets into the front loop here of the second corner chain from round seven. Oop. There we go. One and two to the same. stitch here and now we're going to do seven single crochets one two three four five six and seven and then we do one double crochet and we want this double crochet to line up with the double crochet here down it's supposed to be right in the middle of each side you see so it should line up with the double crochet here in color b here below okay so one double crochet here and if at this point you have some kind of uh, not the right stitch count then you can always um, either skip one here or steal the stitch behind uh, and now we do 
yeah that was the double crochet and now we do another seven single crochets two three four five six and seven and then we have you see one stitch here single crochet left before the corner and then the corner chains and now we're going to do two double crochets into the first corner chain from the second to last round from round seven if you're using white here then you're going into the white okay so one and two into the same stitch here and then chain two for the corner okay so this is the repeat for round nine okay we do uh, two double crochets here into the second corner chain from round seven down one and then we do seven single crochets one double crochet right smack here in the middle of each side should always line up with this one here below then another seven single crochets here and then two doubles down here in the first corner chain from round seven and then chain two for the corner and then we when we continue we do again here you see two double crochets into the second corner chain and I'm going to continue and do two more repeats. I've started my second repeat here now by doing these two here, showing you the corner. Might as well just continue so it's not confusing, right? Okay, so again with a repeat, two double crochets here into the into the second uh, corner chain from round seven. Then we do seven single crochets. seven and then we do one double crochet which should be right here in the middle and lining up with this double crochet below and then another seven singles one two three four five six and seven and then you should have one single crochet left and the corner chains and then we're going to do two double crochets down here to the first corner chain from round seven and chain two okay now i've done two repeats with you which should be more than enough but i'm just going to show you on this one as well what we're doing actually so what we're doing here is that we're kind of marking for where the petals are going to start. You see here, these are the seven single crochets that we're leaving. And these are the corners here that we're just filling it completely up. That's why we're doing two double crochets here and then two chains and the two double crochet go into the same stitch so that we're covering up all of the color B from the back side. Yeah. So this is what we're doing here now. And this is the one double crochet here in the middle and you as you see it's very important that that is here right in the middle so that our flower petals will be in place okay i'm going to do the third repeat and then get back to you show you how to finish the round okay i did the third repeat and now we're going to finish the round and we're going to do the do two double crochets here into the corner stitch from round seven one and two, like so, and then we do seven single crochets. Seven, and then we do one double crochet here, lining up with a double crochet from below, you see? And now we finish with five single crochets because we started with two and we want seven total. So one, two, three, four, and five. Here is the last one. Then we pop our color B back up onto our hook and work the last single crochet around the new color, the, the upcoming color. And again always taking care to have it all nice and tight at the join and we're going to join into the back loop always skipping the chain here obviously join into the back loop of the first single crochet of the current round with the new color whoop whoop slip stitch and one single one uh, chain here to fasten it okay so that was round 
Nine, all done. Now we're gonna start our petals. Yay! Okay, on to round 10. That's an even number round. So we are using our pattern color, B. And we start the round by doing, we already did our chain here, and we're gonna do one double crochet here, down to here, up, up, like so. And then we do three single crochets, and the last single crochet out of these three lands here in the first corner chain, and two chains. And now we get to the repeat for round 10. We're going to do three single crochets. The first one lands here in the second corner chain. Two, up, and three. And now we're going to do four double crochets in a row. One, two, three, and four. like so. And now we're going to DC two together over the next three stitches. Okay, so we have three here stitches left uh, to work into from our single crochets here from round eight. And we're going to do two double crochets together and we're going to work the first one in the next stitch here. Then we're going to skip the middle stitch and the second DC here into the last one. Okay, out of these three that are coming up. Okay, so we do, we work into the next stitch, yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull your yarn up, and you have three loops up on your hook, and then you yarn over and pull through two, and leave it there for a bit. And now we're gonna yarn over again, we're gonna skip the next stitch, and go into the second one here, and pull our yarn up again, and we're gonna yarn over and pull through two, and now we have two, DCs sort of open up on our hook and we're going to yarn over and close them two together. Okay, so this is a decrease here. And what is happening is this here, we're doing this, trying to get this sort of, oops, <laughs> we're trying to get this uh, diagonal line here. Yeah, so this is what's happening here. So now what we have to take care is to work into the stitches behind okay so we want to get now five single crochets um until we go again with the the last next block of this and so we're going to back up a bit here okay so if we just pull our double crochets here a bit forward then we can see the stitches behind them and here is the stitch in the middle the double crochet from last round so we use that as point of reference and then you count one and two stitches to the right uh, obviously to the left if you're left-handed and we're going to work our first single crochet here into the second stitch you see this is the the the, the dc from last round here's one and two and we're going to start there and work one single crochet there one into the next one the third lands in the dc in the middle and then four and five so now we have here five single crochets in a row, okay? And the first one is sort of going behind here because these here, we want to take them, we want to notch them all together here, yeah? And now we're gonna do again two double crochets over the next three stitches. Uh, and so this first one here is going to go here into the first of the seven single crochets here from round eight. And then we're gonna skip the next stitch and we're gonna do the second DC to, uh, together here into this one, okay? First one here, skip this, and the second one here. And these two are gonna be worked together. So yarn over, and now we kind of have to back up a bit to get to here, it's slanted to the right. Okay, get into our, our uh, stitch, get the yarn and pull it up. And now we have three loops up on our hook, and we yarn over and go through two. And then we yarn over again, oh my God, that's the groceries. And we skip the next stitch here and go into this one, into that one, pull your yarn up like so. Pebe, get the short madden. And yarn over again and go through two. And now we have worst possible moment to get to come here, yeah? 
Now we have two open, uh, double, now we have two double crochets here up on our hook. The first one was here, then we skipped one stitch, and the second is here. And now we're going to close them together, like so. Whoop, da. Okay. Don't worry, I'm going to do it again with you. <laughs> okay, and then next up come just four uh, normal double crochets here in a row. Four, and to finish this repeat, we do three single crochets. The last one lands in the fourth corner chain, and then we chain two, and I'm just going to show you this whole repeat again after uh, getting my groceries, okay? <laughs> Sorry! Okay, groceries um, in store, and <laughs> we can continue crocheting. Sorry about that. Uh, so this is what's happening here now. We are taking these here sort of getting this diagonal line here for our petals. We're doing our first uh, double crochet round here of our petals. And then we want to make space for these five double crochets that come in the next round. So we need five single crochets here in between. And so we're kind of um, trying to get this line here. That's why it's a bit more complicated than our normal uh, just straight down thing. Okay, so I'm just going to do the repeats completely over again with you because this is a sort of a maybe new technique for some of you and we are just doing slow TV and if anybody wants to go faster they can fast forward or put me on high speed. That sounds quite funny. Funny. <laughs> uh, okay, another repeat. So again with a repeat for round 10. So we do three single crochets. The first one lands in the corner chain. Okay, and then the two other here and the two double crochets. And now we're going to do four double crochets, just normal straight down. Three and four. And then we're going to work two double crochets together. And we're going to work, we're going to work into this one, this stitch here. And then we're going to skip this one and work into this one here. So we're doing two double crochets over three stitches. Two together over three stitches. Okay, so we start by yarning over, going into the stitch we're working into, pulling our yarn up. We have three loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through two. And we're going to keep that one here and save it here so we can close the two together. Okay, on to the next one. We yarn over, we skip the next stitch and go into this one here, just next to the double crochet, right? Pull our yarn up, and now we have two loops here, plus our other double crochet and the one that we always have open. Yarn over and go through these two first. And now we have three loops open on our hook, and really we have two double crochets up on our hook. And we yarn over again and pull them all together. So that was the double crochet, two double crochets together. And now when we start working our single crochets here, we have to kind of back it up a bit and start working behind our double crochets here, remember? Okay, so this one here is the middle stitch and we're gonna work one and two into the second stitch here to the right, goes our into the second stitch to the right from the, the, the middle here, from the double crochet, goes our first single crochet, okay? And we're going to do five in a row. One, two, third one goes into the double crochet, four, and five. Okay, and now we're going to do again two double crochets uh, together. And these are going to be worked into this one here, the first one. We're going to skip this one and work into this one here. Okay, so yarn over and now we have to back up. And so I always, when I do this, I, I will uh, uh, put my hook so that the hook is down and I can sort of like grab it from, not from behind, but <laughs> okay. And pull our yarn up and we have three loops up on our hook and we yarn over and go through two. That's one double crochet here that's half done on our hook. And then we yarn over again and we're going to skip the next, next stitch here and go into this one here, which is just straight down from where we are really and pull our yarn up and yarn over and go through two. And now we have our two half double crochets up on our hook and we're just gonna yarn over and close them together. Et voila! Mm, so easy when there's nobody ringing the doorbell and we've seen it all before. <laughs> and next up are our four double crochets, which are just plain old straight down double crochets. 
nothing new happening here. And then we finish the repeat with three single crochets. Third one landing here in the first corner chain and chain two for the corner. Okay, so this is what it's supposed to look like. Okay, the repeat is three single crochets, four double here in a row, then two double crochets together, skipping the one here in the middle. And then we do five single crochets. Do remember to situate these correctly. They're supposed to, the middle one is to, supposed to be here on the double crochet from last round and then two on this side and two on that side. And then we do two double crochets together here again, skipping one stitch here in the middle and then four double crochets just normal then three single crochets and two chains. Okay, so I'm going to do the last of the three repeats and then I'll catch up with you at the end of the round. Okay, I've done the last repeat, so we're going to finish the round here and I'm going to show you how this is all done for the third time. I, sh I should think that you <laughs> got it by now, but uh, we're not in a hurry, are we? Well, I'm not at least. Okay, so after doing the three repeats, then we go again here to finish the round and we do three single crochets. And then four double crochets. Now we're starting our rose petal here. And these four just go straight down and are completely normal double crochets. <laughs> normal is so overrated though. <laughs> Don't think. Two, three, and four. And now we have, as you see, three single crochets here left that we can work into. And we're going to work into this one and this one and skip the middle one. And work two double crochets together over the next three stitches. So we do the first double crochet here in the next stitch and not finish it. We're going to keep it here up on our hook. And then we skip one stitch and do the second one here, like so. Now we have two double crochets up on our hook and we're going to finish them whoop, whoop, all together. And now we back it up a bit. Remember, we have to go a bit here behind and start working our five single crochets here into. We start here in the second stitch here, counting to the to the right from the DC left if you're left handed. So it's one and two. Third one goes into the DC. Four and five single crochets here in a row. And then we do the two double crochets together over three stitches, having to back it up a bit here. You see, remember, whoop, going here with the first one a bit slanted to the to the right. That's the first one. Then we yarn over again. We're going to skip the next one and go into this one here. That's the second double crochet and whoop, but then we're going to work them together like so. <laughs> I feel like a, like a sports, what do you call like a, like a, um, a commentator. <laughs> Okay, and now we finish the round with three double crochets. We already did our one here, and after these two, we're gonna we want to have four here, as on all the other petals. So we do three double crochets. First one goes here, and these all go straight down. But I'm gonna show you a bit of a trick here, because now the second one here is going over a join. And as you can see, remember always when we have a join, when we're gonna cover it up with a DC. And we have this stitch here we could go into always choose the one below and actually i love this bit you guys i love going over a join with a dc isn't it's just it's just magic it's just like you know hashtag winning sort of like winning at life <laughs> and no i did not have any wine coming with those groceries i'm just i don't know a bit <laughs> uh so the double crochet number two here goes here in the lower one of the stitches available here on on the join from round what eight okay and the last and final double crochet goes here and since we finished this round with the double crochet we can't really work over our tail like we always do with the single crochets at the end of the round we well, can but it's just not really neat is it so uh, we just uh, power through and do not work over our tail now here but just go into the back loop of the first DC of this current round and join with our color A and as always now we just tuck it nice and easy nice nice and tight here and join with a slip stitch as always foot foot like so and one chain Okay, so that was round 10, all done. And again, just to show you what's happening, 
this is where we're at here. And we were starting these petals here, the first, and to get this diagonal line here and not have it sort of like pixeled. That's why all the hassle with the two double crochets together, right? To get a nice diagonal line. Mm -mm. Happy times. Okay, round 10, all done. Okay, on to round 11, which is way more basic than the last one, actually. And we are working with our color A, the main color again. I already did the chain here when joining. And we're going to start by working three double crochets. The first one here lands in the double crochet from round nine two and three and the third one lands in the corner chain the first corner chain from round nine okay three double crochets and then we're going to do one single crochet into the back loop of the first corner chain from last round and then chain two okay and now we get to the repeat if i just get a bit of a yarn here Do -do -do. And we start the repeats and we do one single crochet into the second corner chain. And then we do three double crochets. The first one lands in the second corner chain here from round nine. I won't lie, it's not nice to go into those. It's a bit of a, bit of a bore actually. <laughs> and two and three. So that's three double crochets here in a row. And then we work five single crochets. That's one into each of our double crochets from last round. Three, whoops, what's happening? Four and five. And then we're gonna do five double crochets in a row, but the middle one actually is a front post. And so now we kind of have to go a bit behind here, you see, because of our di diagonal fun times <laughs> we did the five here single crochets in last round and those five here are to mark really where we're going to work the five double crochets in this one yeah so the first one here is kind of is just below the the single crochet here and so it's a bit behind it's here you see so we kind of have to and we are actually using this here to kind of nudge these into the right direction just to have them better formed here Everything has purpose, you know? <laughs> These patterns are so deep, you guys. I mean, I'm... <laughs> okay, concentrating now. Um, first double crochet goes here into this stitch here, just below the first si uh, single crochet and a bit behind the double crochets here from last round, yeah? That's one. And then there's two. Just into the next one. That one's pretty straightforward and then we're going to do a, a, a front post here around the middle one yeah so go under this one like so pull your yarn up and always give the front post a bit of a slack when you're working double uh, mosaic crochet yarn over and go through two and go through two there we go that's a nice lovely front post there and now we're going to do two more double crochets one here is really just straightforward and then the 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 second or the fifth out of the three uh, double crochets here in a row is sort of like you see it's sort of behind this slanted dc from last round yeah this one here but just remember that with the DC, with the single crochets from last round these here that we did in between the the dcs and all the slanting and fun here these mark where your double crochets are going to do go okay and they are also when we put these double crochets here in they are pushing these ones into their place it's just so nice, isn't it? Um, concentrate, five single crochets. Next up, one and two and three, four and five. And then we do three double crochets. Whoopa. One, two, and the three. The last one here is the nasty one into the chain from round nine, like so. And then we do one single crochet into the back loop of the first corner chain and chain two. So this is the repeat. Uh, I was just saying that it's quite, it's more basic than the last round, but it is a bit of a, 
it is important to get this here all in place and getting these di diagonal lines nice. So I guess I'll just do it one more time with you guys. Again, you can post for fast forward all you want. I do say that I know that you do when you do it or not, but you know, I obviously don't. <laughs> so let's do another repeat together. Yeah. Uh, we start with one single crochet into the back loop of the first corner, the second corner chain here, and then one double crochet into the nasty one here, which is the second corner chain from round nine, and then two more double crochets, which are just quite pleasant actually. Don't you have these? You like I always have my favorite stitches of each round and my least favorite ones. Uh, yep, so that's three double crochets in a row, and then we do five single crochets in, in a row, and those just go into the five double crochets from last round, counting those two together as one, obviously, because that was the decrease. And now we do our five double crochets here with the one front post double crochet in the middle, and we yarn over and we kind of go digging. Just remember the first single crochet you're coming up on here, you have to do a double crochet for that one as well. And we're just going to push it a bit here and find it. It is here. You see? <laughs> so yarn over, go fishing here. Hoppala. That's the first one. Second is just basic. Third is the front post. Giving it a bit of extra slack there always so it won't pull too much. Fourth is a basic one, and then the fifth is a bit of a hidden one as well, just right over here, yeah? Okay, and then we do five single crochets. Two, three, four, and five, and then three double crochets, ending with the third one here into the nasty bit. Okay, and then one single crochet whoop, uh, into the back loop of the first corner chain and chain two. Okay, so that's the repeat for round 11. Oh, can you see it's happening? We're getting a little paddles. <laughs> such fun, such fun. Have you watched Miranda? If you haven't, you should. It's brilliant stuff, BBC. Um, yeah, I'm going to do the last repeat and then we get together for finishing the round again. Okay. Okay, I've done the last of the three repeats here for round 11, and I'm gonna finish the round together. Boop, 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 boop. And we start by doing one single crochet here into the first corner chain, obviously, and then one double crochet into the nasty one, which is the corner chain here from round nine, and then two more double crochets. <sighs> Two brudos. <laughs> okay, there we go. Three double crochets there in a row. And then we do five single crochets. Five. And then we do our five double crochets. Remember, the first one is kind of here hiding. Whoppa. Second is straight forward, just straight down, no hiding there. Third one is a front post. Whoop up. Always giving a bit of extra slack here when you pull up. I see. And then the fourth one is just quite nice. And the fifth one is in hiding as well. But very important. These these ones that are hiding, again, it's so neat what, that they are. They have like an extra function of of pushing these DCs here, the slanted ones two together into their place. Mm -mm -mm. Some crochet, just brilliant. Uh, then we finish the round by doing five single crochets, and now again we finish the round with a single crochet, so we can work around our upcoming color. Last one goes here. And then we pop our color B up on our hook, tuck at it nice and tight. Finish the single crochet, here, last single crochet of the round around it. And we drop our color B, no A, and join with color B into the back loop of the first double crochet of the round. Whoop, whoop, sing, um, slip stitch and chain one. 
There we go. You see, it's all happening. Well, it's sort of like broken wings at this point, but yeah, it's uh, it's starting. You're seeing how it goes. Yay, such fun. Again, Miranda, you guys, it's fucking brilliant. <laughs> On to round 12, even number. So we're using our pattern color, our flower color. We did the chain one, and now we start by doing two single crochets. One and two, and now we're getting to one of my, no, these are not my, my, my favorite stitches. Okay, so we're gonna do one double crochet down here in the first corner chain from round, what would that be, 10? And this is not nice. Sorry about this. It's a bit, a bit of a fish, fishing expedition here. Uh, one double crochet down here. And then we are going to do one single crochet into the first corner chain, into the back loop, obviously. And then two chains for the corner. Okay, now we get to the repeat. And it is one single crochet into the second corner chain. One double crochet down into the second corner chain from round 10. And then we do three single crochets. And then we do two double crochets. Just normal straight down, straight forward DCs. And now we're going to do two double crochets together over the next three stitches. And again, as before, we're going to work into the first one here straight down. We're going to skip the middle one and then work into this one. So we're continuing with our diagonal line here of the rose petal. So yarn over, go into the stitch that is right below and do your double crochet there and keeping it just up on your hook without finishing. And then you yarn over, skip the next stitch and go into this one here, which is really the two together from round 10, yeah? And pull up and through two. And now we have two double crochets up on our hook and we're gonna whoop but close them together as so. And again, with the same, we have to really back it up a bit here. Now we're going to do how many DCs in a single crochets? Nine single crochets in a row. So we have our five double crochets here and we want to start and count from there and go one and two into the second stitch to the right from the, the, the double crochet here, yeah? Opa. Okay, one and two. That's two single crochets here, sort of the first one going behind this one, yeah? And now we work over the five double crochets from last round. That's, so it's two before we get to the double crochets, okay? <laughs> Am I talking to you like you're just stupid or? <laughs> Sorry, I just want to be really clear. It's better to be too clear than like vague. That would be awful, awful crochet tutorial, but like really vague instruction. <laughs> like sort of keep the mystery. <laughs> okay, that's one and two and three and four, five, <laughs> six, seven, lands here in the the last of the dcs and we're going to do two more eight and nine <laughs> uh, and now we're going to do <laughs> two double crochets together and again we're continuing with our diagonal line into this direction so the first one is slanted to the right and goes into this one we're going to skip the next stitch here in the middle are you seeing this properly? Yeah. So we're going to work the first DC together into this one. I'm going to get a hook to show you. Into this one here. We don't want the vague crochet channel. So first DC together here. Skip this one. Whoop. And then the second one goes into this one. Yeah. So we yarn over back up to our right and grab that stitch by the, you know what? <laughs> Pull your yarn up and go through two. And then we have the first double crochet here up on our hook, half done, yeah? Yarn over, skip the next stitch, this one, and go into this one here. And do our second double crochet there. Opala. And now we have the two double crochets here up on our hook and we're gonna close them together. Whoopa. And then we just do two normal ones. Okay. 
you see? So this way we're continuing with our diagonal lines here to get them neat and quite straight. Uh, then we do three single crochets. And then there comes the nasty bit of going down fishing here. One double crochet down to the corner chain from round from round uh, 10. And then one single crochet into the first corner chain from last round and two chains. Okay, so this is the repeat for round 12. Uh, we started by doing one single crochet, one double here down to the corner chain down below and then we did three single crochets over here and then we did two double crochets just normal straight forward down and then we did two double crochets together remember into this one skipping one stitch and into the second and then we did nine single crochets here in a row taking care to start with the first one out of the nine counting here from the dc from last round one and two and starting here so nine here in a row and then we did two double crochets together the first one going into our two together here uh, from round 10 skipping one stitch the second one going straight down and then two just normal double crochet straight down three single crochets one double crochet down into the nasty bit here one single crochet and two chains for the corner yeah 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 okay i'm gonna do two more repeats and show you how to finish the round mm, it's happening Okay, I did two more repeats exactly as the first one as I showed you and now we're going to finish the round and we do one single crochet into the second corner chain here, one double crochet down here to the corner chain from round 10 and then it's three single crochets. And then we do two double crochets just straight down okay and now we're going to do two together working them into the next stitch here skipping one and then into the second to the third one here which is really the two double crochets together stitch from last from round uh, 10. so we do one double crochet here not finishing it completely because we're going to work two together leave it like this and then yarn over and do the second one here and this one actually i always try to give it a bit of extra slack because it has to kind of stretch over to the right okay we have two up on our hook and whoop but then we're going to close them together okay and then remember to go a bit back here finding your dc we're going to do nine single crochets in a row and the first one out of the nine is going to be here's the 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 dc from last round and we're going to count one and two to the second stitch here to the right from the first dc right one two three four five six seven eight and nine and now we're going to do again two double crochets together first one slanted to the right skipping this stitch here and then working the second two uh, dc together here into this one okay so yarn over and we have to back it up to the right going into the stitch here which is the two double crochets together from round 10. pull your yarn up give it a bit of a slack because it has to be lying to the left and then go through two and keep it up on your hook yarn over skip this stitch here and go into this one which is just straight down from where we're at okay through two and now we have the two double crochets up on our hook and we're gonna whoop but that take them together like so and then it's two double crochets oops and now the second cro double crochet here is on a joint so we're gonna always opt for the lower stitch here available okay and then it's just one single crochet to finish the round and as always when we finish with a single crochet we're going to pop our upcoming yarn up onto the hook and work the last single crochet around it like so and we drop our color b take our color a give it a nice tuck and join into the back loop of the first single crochet of the current round with a slip stitch whoop whoop as so and one chain to fasten it nice okay so that was round 
12. And as you can see, we almost have our rose petals here now. It's just actually one more round for, of those to close them up. <laughs> Such fun. On we go to round 13. That's an odd number. So we're using our color A, the main color. And we already did the chain. And now we're going to start this round by doing one double crochet here straight down. Like so. And then we have three single crochets. The last one landing here in the first corner chain. And then chain two for the corner. Okay, and now we get to the repeat for round 13. We're going to do three single crochets. First one landing in the second corner chain. And then we're going to do three double crochets. All just straight down. And three. And then we're going to do three single crochets into our double crochets from last round. One, two, and three. And now we have nine double crochets here in between our petals. And just like before in round 11, we have to take care that the first one goes here straight down and is a bit hidden. It's the pickable one, this one here. Yeah, so nine here. Just remember it's two before you get to the, here's one and two. And that's before you get to the double crochets from la, from uh, round 11, yeah? So it's two before, then five, and then two after. Just always taking care that everything lines up nicely because this is a geometrical form. So you really want it to be, you know, geometrical. <laughs> I'm, su I'm surprisingly square, aren't I? <laughs> Okay, so that's seven. And then there are two more here after you finish working into all the double crochets. And there's one here that's just rather straightforward. And we end with a pickable, pickable one as we started. See, it's here just a bit behind our two together double crochets from last round. And again, this first and last DC here, they also... Okay, that's the dinner arriving. Pepe! <laughs> Uh, these serve as to sort of push these here into line and make them more vertical. And no, I do not. I'm not very good at cooking, actually. Well, I'm okay at it, but I just don't like to do it very much. I prefer crocheting. Much better crocheting, really. Okay, so that was nine DCs in a row. Then we get three uh, single crochets and three doubles. And then three single crochets and the third one lands in the first corner chain and then chain two for the corner. So this is the repeat for round 13. OK, let's go over it again. We started here with three single crochets, then three doubles, three singles and then nine double crochets in a row. The first and the last one being a bit of a hidden one where you're supposed to put them. Yeah. And then we have three single crochets, three doubles, three singles and chain two for the corner. OK, I hope that's all very nice and clear. And I'm going to do two more repeats and then show you how to finish the round. OK. OK, two more repeats done. And now we're going to finish the round, round 13, last round before uh, dinner break. <laughs> And we do three single crochets, three doubles, just plain old doubles straight down. Okay, and then again, three singles, the last one landing in the two double crochets together from last round. And then we're going to do nine double crochets here in between the petals. And remember, the first and the last one are a bit hidden. But just remember to do, we have the five double crochets here in the middle. So you have to do two before you get to the double crochets and two after. Yeah. Do, 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 do. So we go fishing here a bit. Then we go. One. Two. Four, five, and when we hit 
0.5. We're supposed to be in the middle here. Six, seven, eight, and the ninth is a bit hidden, remember, like you have to tuck at the DC from last round to kind of get to it. There we go, it's all there. And then we're gonna do three single crochets. The first one here into the two double crochets together from last round, and then two and three. And then we're gonna finish the round with two double crochets. And that's one here and two, like so. And then we're gonna join into the back loop. We finished with a double crochet, so we can't work around our, our upcoming color. So we're just gonna join with that into the back loop of the first double crochet of the current round. Do remember to tuck at our upcoming color though. Get it nice and tight. Fit, fit, slip stitch and chain to fasten it. Yay, so that's round 13. And as you can see, we are getting the form of our eight petal rows here. There's just one more round actually to get the finishing, the, 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 the knobs of the, no, I'm not going to say that again. I can't be talking about knobs. The, the pico of the, of the, the petals. Yay. Okay. I'm off to have a dinner break. Uh, I would suggest maybe you would do the same learning something new it's very bad to do that on an empty stomach and obviously if it's not going well and you're in a foul mood it's probably not my fault it's just that you're hungry right <laughs> okay dinner break and then we get back to this okay on, on to round 14 everybody's had their their snack break yeah <laughs> now we're again working with color B, our pattern color. And this is the last round in in the color B, this one before we change it up and do the one for the for the frame. Okay, so we started with obviously we always I've already done the, the chain here as always, and now we're gonna do four single crochets. And two chain for the corner. And then we do seven single crochets this is the repeat now for round 14 seven single crochets first one lands in the first corner chain seven two three four five six here and now we're going to do two double crochets together to sort of uh, close up the petals and we're going to work one in the first stitch here, this one. We're going to skip the middle DC here and work the second DC here in this one. So in the first and the third. So we yarn over and work our first double crochet here in the first one. Keep it like this, open up on our hook. Then yarn over again, skip the middle one and go into this one here, which is the two DCs that are closed, that will work together in, in uh, round 12. Another double crochet there, and now we have them both open up on our hook and boom, but then we're going to close them together. And now we have 13 single crochets here in between. And as before, we have to back it up a bit. Remember, here are our DCs, and we count from the DCs one and two and go into the second stitch here from the right to the right. Sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. And then we're going to do another two, um, uh, uh, two DCs together. And the first one is going to go here into this one here, which is the, the two DCs work together from round 12. And then we're going to skip the middle stitch and do the second one here in this one. Okay, so we yarn over and again, when we're doing the second one on each side, we have to back it up a bit and go back here. Whoop at that, no, didn't want to do it. There we go. Okay, now we have one here up on our hook and we're gonna keep it and do the second one. Again, skipping the middle stitch and going into this one. Better have it all very clear. And now we have two double crochets up on our hook and whoop, but they're gonna close them up together. And then we finish the repeat with another seven single crochets here until 
we get to the corner, the seventh lens here in the first corner chain, you see, and then chain two for the corner. Okay, easy peasy. I mean, by now you've done this three times, the, the two DCs together here on the petals. So you know the drill, you guys, but let's just um, go over the repeat so there's no misunderstanding. So there are seven single crochets, then there's the two DCs here together into the first, skipping the one stitch here in the middle. And then there are 13 DCs, no, sorry, 13 single crochets here in between and always remember to start here it's two here before we get to the dcs and then two after the dcs yeah and then there's the two dcs together here and then seven single crochets and the two chains for the corner okay i'm gonna do uh two more repeats and then i'm gonna show you the how to finish the round yay okay i did the two more repeats exactly as the first one that i showed you and by now we're so the the last repeat really is almost a whole side but let's just do it together you guys who's in a hurry not me uh, so we do again here after the corner now we do seven single crochets da -da -da -da. maybe i should teach you guys to count in icelandic <laughs> And then we do the two double crochets together, taking our peak of the of the the petal from the rows here together, and we're going to work them into the first stitch and the third stitch, skipping the one in the middle. So one here, leaving it open on our hook, and the second one into the two together, leaving it open as well, and then yarn over and take them together as so. And then now we start, and we do thirteen single crochets here over the middle bit here and starting two stitches to the right from the, the DC here. Okay, should we do this in Icelandic? Eight, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, six, that's a bad one, yeah. <laughs> seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, there we go. Now you learned something new. <laughs> and now we're going to take, take these two here, two DCs together to close up our petal. First one goes a bit backing it up into the two together from round 12, leaving that one open here up. Skip the next stitch and go into a third to another one there. Now we have two double crochets up on our hook and we're going to whoop, but I close them together. And now we finish with three single crochets. And as always, the third one here goes, we're going to work it over, pop the upcoming color up on our hook and work it over that thread like so. And now we can, unless, I mean, it is possible to just work it all in same color B. Yeah. So just everything would, and the frame as well. But I do like to have in my, my original Amma, then I'm doing all the frames in black. And actually, uh, as you will have seen in the intro video, which I haven't filmed yet because I haven't joined my blanket. <laughs> They do make for a beautiful, like, uh, connecting pattern when they all go together. Yeah, you see how they, you know, you can see it here. I can show you here. You know, they, they make up a pattern of their own. So I do like to have them in a separate color. But again, it is entirely possible to just make it with one color B and, uh, and one color A. I'm going to change it now here for my, um, for my, because this is for my ama. And next round, I'm going to start using this one here. OK, so now I cut the yarn. You don't have to cut this yarn. It's so easy to break. So I just break it and we join with the upcoming color with color A into the back loop of the first single crochet of the round, always taking care to tighten everything all nice and tight as like this and do one chain here. OK, so that was round 14. All done. Yay. OK, on to round 15. And this is uh, actually uh, very heavy in DC. But oh, my God, it's such fun to do this one because um, it sort of closes off the, 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 the flower design. Mm -mm -mm. So we start by doing the, the chain one that we already did. And then we're going to do one double crochet 
just straight down. And then we're going to do three single crochets. And I will use this opportunity here that we have a few single crochets over the corner. And I'm going to work over my tail here of color B that I just broke. OK, so we're going to do one, two and three single crochets to the corner. The last one here lands in the in the first corner chain and then chain two. OK, and now we get to the repeat for round 15. I'm going to continue here and work over my thread, my tail and we're going to do three single crochets. And three and now I've worked six stitches over my tail, so that's fine. So I can just drop it. And next up are five double crochets. OK, and these are just all very plain, plain old double crochets. They go straight down. No funny business. <laughs> four and up and five and then we're going to work one single crochet and that goes into the top here of our two double crochets together from last round just in the back loop and now we have 13 double crochets in between the two petals here and remember that we have to work the two here before we get to the double crochets from round 13 and two after okay so we have to go fishing here a bit for the first one. It's a bit hidden here, remember? It's always the same bit that we're doing here. So here we go, one and two. And now we're on to smooth sailing, just over all these DCs here. And do take care to make, when you're working many DCs in a row, it's important to maybe try and do them a tad tighter than you would usually. Uh, just try to, you know, get your tension a bit more more tighter on these bits that have a lot of DCs in a row because they tend to sort of um, get bloated. It's not a nice way to say it. Uh, just try and keep them tight. <laughs> okay, and two more here. As you can see, I don't count. I just, you know, Trust that I have the right amount, but maybe since you're watching, hopefully I wish you to count to eight, four, six, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen. Okay, and then we do one single crochet here in the top of the two DCs together, and again five double crochets. And then we do three single crochets and the third one lands in the first corner chain and chain two for the corner. Yeah. So what we're doing here actually is, you see, we're making, we're doing this round here that's coming here and we're leaving this here bit just for a bit of extra, uh, um, uh, how do you say, uh, ador adornation, um, um, extra oomph here in the corner and this talks to this and everything so i really like this extra bit here and also it just takes you know it's a few single crochet at least uh, okay let's review the repeat for round 15 before i go on so you start with three single crochets here in the corner then five dcs one single crochet in the top of the two dcs together from last round and you do 13 single uh, double crochets here in between one single crochet, five doubles, and then three singles. Last one landing in the corner chain and chain two for the corner. OK, I'm going to continue and do it. But you see, oh, it's oh, it's so satisfying, isn't it? It's just framing it all up. All oh, the joy, the joy. <laughs> OK, yeah, I'm going to do the second two uh, more repeats and then I get back to you. OK, I've done two more sides. You see, it's such fun. Um, and we're going to finish and do the end of the round. I've done the repeats. And after the last repeat, we do again three single crochets. And then five doubles. all the way up to our petal. And then we're going to do one single crochet into the top of the two together 
here, the top of the two DCs together. And then we're going to do 13 here. And as before, we find our DC here and we're going to count one and two to the right here. You see, because it's a bit hidden and start there. Do the first two here. And again, remember to try and do these a bit tight so that they don't bloat. <laughs> Like the, the square is traveling on an airplane, it's all bloated, and, or maybe it's pregnant, or <laughs> it's a beautiful, beautiful word to use for this. But yeah, do try and do it a bit tighter than usual to get it all neat. Okay, 11, 12, and 13. Up, up. And this one is a bit hidden as well, the first and the last. And then we do one single crochet here in the top. And now we have four double crochets to finish it off the round. One and two. And the third one is going over a join, as you can see here. And I love going over these joins because it's not so neat, but when you work over it, you, nobody can tell. So remember, here is the, you could work into this stitch here, but we're always going to go and try and go a bit more down and go into the lower of the two available stitches. And voila, you see, oh, the join just dis disappeared. <laughs> Pure magic. And the fourth one here. Okay. And so that's the last stitch here. And now we're introducing new color. And this is actually one of my favorites. Um, so what I love about the the Lopi from East Tex uh, is all the beautiful natural colors that we have. So this here is called Sheep Black. And it's actually, and it's sort of like a natural black. Uh, on the big pictures, you'll probably just, it'll just probably look like it's black, but it's a, uh, it's sort of like a natural black. Oh, this is not going well at all. Oh dear Lord, there we go. Uh, yeah, and it's um, it's just, uh, it's sort of like a soft black, you know? Just because it has a hint of gray and brown in it. So we like that. <laughs> I decide for us, I like that. <laughs> And as we've talked about before, it is important because I love using all these bright, vibrant colors. I'm just rambling on. I'll basically be while I unravel this huge bowl that I took from the middle of it. <laughs> but yeah, it's important to... I should I do this here? <laughs> it's important to always think of the support colors when you are, when you are, you know, choosing your your color palette because I mean working with the all the the bright colors is great but it's great to have a good contrast and swell and have something to sort of ground it you know and this this natural sheep black just does exactly that you know okay uh ramble over uh <laughs> unraveling over and so we're going to join with our new color here now into the back loop with our new color beam. If you continue with the same color, you just use that one to the back loop of the first DC of the current round. Always just leave a bit of a tail and join with a slip stitch foot foot and chain one here. OK, so that is our round five all done at no, 15 sorry 15 and actually as you can see we have now a complete square and so if you're doing the the uh, simple version because obviously it comes in many versions as i've told you uh why would you do anything else so there's the the tiny version which is just the first seven rounds and then you just have the middle bits or there's the simple version which is the first 15 rounds which we have finished here and then you just stop here, obviously, and, you know, um, do the invisible join. But I'm going to continue here and show you the full traditional version with the lovely border, which was sort of inspired in the, the Viking knot sort of um, mythology. Yeah. And it just binds it all together. But I do like both versions. I do love the simple one as well. I have to make one of those. Haven't yet, at least. Uh, yeah, I have to stop. And now, yeah, uh -huh. mm -hmm. until before I go continue with round 16. Okay, that was round 15. All done. Yay. Okay. 
Okay, on to round 16. And this is actually a very simple round. It's just a single crochet round. So we're going to start here and I'm going to work over my tail here just for a bit so I won't have to weave it in. And we start, we did the, the chain and we start by working four, isn't it four? Now I have to look. Ba, 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 ba. Four single crochets until we get to the corner. I'm going to work over my tail here. One, two, three, and four. And then we chain two. And now the repeat is very simple. It's just 33 single crochets here in on each side. So we just uh, do now basically one single crochet into each and every stitch and two chains for the corner. Yeah. Whoops. I'm going to work a bit more over my tail here. And it's just one single crochet into the back loop of each and every stitch of the round. I don't think I have to show you all of that. So just continue and remember that on each side you should have 33 single crochets. Yeah. And I'm going to finish my almost finish my round here and show you how to join in the end. OK, one single crochet into the back loop of each and every stitch and always do two chains for the corners as before. And that's the boys home. <laughs> OK, so I have now uh, done the whole round of, of single crochets. This is really not anything I need. But do you see how what I'm talking about with the with the uh, with the sheep black. I mean, it just it just gives it, it just grounds it and gives us this beautiful contrast. And the the brown yellow, this curry curry yellow, brown is sort of just pops even more. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> yes, I love my blanket. I love it. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, the from on the last side, it's always 33 single crochets between the corners. On the last side, it's only what you finish with 29 because we started with four here. OK, so I just have to do the last couple of ones. And as before, here is then 27 and then 20. No, sorry, 28 and 29. And always on the last one, I'm going to pop my color A up on the hook and work the last single crochet. Just tuck it in nicely and work the last single crochet around it like so. And then insert your hook into the back loop of the first single crochet of the current round and join with a slip stitch whoop, whoop, and chain one here with color A. OK, and now what we can also do is cut our ends because we've already worked over them. La -di -da. If I would find my scissors, yes, there they are. So another thing with the with the wool, with the Icelandic wool, is also it's um um like I've said, it's uh it has very long threads and it's a bit hairy, so it really doesn't need so much you know sewing in or anything. So just by working over six to ten stitches is fine. But always before cutting, do remember to tuck at it quite nicely both of them here because then you always you can just uh, pull it back out but you want it to be tight it's no if you after you cut this the the the, the tail then you cannot tug at it well it makes it more difficult so just do it like this i always do it a bit vertical here so that it's not like a sharp a straight cut but like a vertical one like so and then you pull that here a bit and now I we have no ends to weave in. Well, just the two at the at the end. OK, so that was round 16 and we have already started our frame, you guys, to frame up the our eight petal rows. Mm. Such fun. And uh, I wanted to tell you, maybe I shouldn't, but <laughs> it's actually so once once you finish finish round 15, uh, it's only 23 rounds. So in theory, we should be more than halfway there. But uh, we're actually just after I've, I've figured it out that it takes me an hour to make it up to round 15 and then 16 to 23 is another hour. So it's basically, you know, we're a bit more ha than halfway there. Uh, but again, it's just to enjoy and have fun. Yeah. Another way, actually, when I'm looking at this now, it just comes to me. If you're going to make the the simple version, you could obviously, you know, uh, finish it off and do this round 16 and, you know, use and have a have a have a frame on each of them. Mm, yeah, that's an idea. But anyways, uh, let's uh, continue with the pattern. This was round 16. All done. Yay. OK, 
Okay, on to round 17. And now again, we are working with our color A. Take those tails here out of the way. And this is another very heavy DC round. Lots of DCs in this one. So uh, let's just get to it. And we start with working three double crochets. two and three and the third one lands here in the first corner chain from round 15 and then we're going to work one single crochet here into the first corner chain and chain two and then we get to the repeat for round 17 and we are going to do one single crochet into the second corner chain and then we're going to do 15 double crochets and the first one is here in the second corner chain from round 15 should we do it again in Icelandic eight fair three fim six Átta, níu, tíu. The tenth is supposed to land here on top of the, the petal. Ætlifu, tólf, þrettán, fjórtán og fimmtán. Okay, and now I'm going to tell you a secret. <laughs> I never count these. <laughs> not in English, not in Icelandic, not in anything. So what I will do is that I will just work, you know, until I'm getting almost to the middle, middle here. And then I will find my way up because the most important part is that everything is uh, aligned. Okay, so we know that this one here is our center one. So I just follow that one up and it's here and it's here and it's here. And then I know now I'm going to do three single crochets here. So the second single crochet is supposed to be in the middle. So even if you do want to count, and I'm not saying you should count, definitely do count, please do count. <laughs> the girls will kill me when I'm telling you not to count. But even if you do count, do take care that the middle one of the three single crochets here is in the middle here, you know, and it's always easy to find. It's here and it's here and you just follow it up. You just take the root of it and sort of, if you pull at it, then you see, okay, this is the middle one, then it's this one. Okay, which one is worked into that, that one. And there we go, the middle one. So it is important that this is in the center because what we're doing now is we're making uh, the spot for this here. And this should always be in the, at, the, at the center of each side. So we did the 15 uh, single cro uh, double crochets and then three single crochets. And then we're gonna do uh, another 15. What, in maybe Spanish? Uno. <laughs> Dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, Doce, trece, catorce, and quince, and that's the fifteenth, it lands into the first corner chain from round fifteen, okay? And then there's the one single crochet here into the first corner chain from last round, and chain two for the corner, okay? So let us review the repeat for round seventeen. We started with one single crochet here into the second corner chain, from last round. Then we did 15 double crochets, three single crochets. Do take care that the middle one here is centered and aligns with our centered DC here. Then we did 15 double crochets, one single crochet and chain two for the corner. Okay, so that's the repeat for round 17. And I am going to do the two more repeats of that. Yep. 
Okay, so I've done, we did the first repeat, repeat together, and then I've done the second repeat and the third repeat. And now I'm on to the final side here. So after the third repeat, then we do exactly the same here. We do one single crochet in the first corner chain, and then we do 15 sing, uh, double crochets. And then we do our three single crochets here. And remember to always do count to 15. <laughs> But also, when you do these three, do take care to check the middle one if it's aligned with the middle DC here, because we want these to be exactly on the middle of each side. And after the three single crochets, then we do, um, no, it's not 15, it's 12 double crochets here, because we started with three, yeah? So we do 12 double crochets here to finish this last side of the square on round 17. And again here on the second to last DC of the round, we are going to go over the join here, you see, and we're not going to work into this one. We're going to work down here into the DC and cover the join. So that's fine. And then we do the last DC. And since it's a DC, we can't work around our thread. Well, we can't, but it's not really, it doesn't really serve any purpose. And so we then join into the back loop. Oh my God, into the back loop of the first double crochet of the round with our color B with a slip stitch. Whoop, whoop, and do one chain here. Okay, so this is round 17 all done. And as you can see, it's a very heavy DC. We've almost covered all of our our um, frame that we did, the black one. We just leave these three here on each side and then two in the corner. And that's because we are leaving, we're sort of marking here for this three here and for the corner that comes down here. Okay, so this is what it looks like after round 17. On to round 18, that's an even number round. So we're using our color B. And we start by doing two single crochets. And then we get to the bit where I, which I don't like, which is where we have to go fishing in the corner. So we're gonna make one, we're gonna do one double crochet here into the first corner chain from round 16, black into black. The same color you have up in your hook is what you're gonna work into. And we do one, whoopa, you see, this is why I don't like this. <laughs> one double crochet here. And then we do one single crochet into the first corner chain from last round and chain two. And now we get to the repeats for round 18. Oops. And that is one single crochet into the second corner chain one double crochet down here into the second corner chain from round 16. And then we are going to do 15 single crochet. That is just one single crochet into each and every one of the DCs from last round. And Thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen, and when we get to our marking marked spot here, then we're going to do one double crochet, one single crochet, and one double. So we're making a little box here, yeah. And then again, fifteen single crochets into all the DCs. Do -do -do. Fourteen and fifteen, and then we go fishing for the nasty one. One double crochet here down into the first corner chain from round sixteen, and one single crochet into the first corner chain from last round, and chain two for the corner. Okay, so this is the repeat for round eighteen. We did one single crochet, one double, fifteen singles, a double single double into the, the little spot here that we have marked always. 
and then we did 15 single crochets, one double, one single, and then the chain two for the corner. Okay, so I'm gonna work my way around the end up to maybe here, and then I'll show you how to finish the round. Okay, I did the second repeat and the third repeat, adding those little boxes here everywhere in the middle of each side. And then the last here side just starts exactly as the other repeats. It's one single crochet, one double, 15 singles, and then there's a double, single, double. And now instead of doing 15 singles, we finish the round by doing 13 single crochets, because we had already done two at the beginning of the round. Okay, and as always, when we're finishing with a single crochet, we want to pop our new color, upcoming color, color A here, up on the hook and work the last stitch around that one. And then we're going to join into the back loop of the first double crochet, uh, first single crochet of the round with color A, the main color here, upcoming. Whoppa, and always to take care to make it really nice and tight and chain one. Okay, so that's round 18 done. And now we're seeing, starting to see our frame emerge. <laughs> On to round 19, we're working with color A and this is actually an all single crochet round. So it's really easy. So we start by making four single, working four single crochets here. And the fourth one lands in the first corner chain. And then we chain two. And then we're just going to work 39 single crochets all over this round here. The 39th lands in the first corner chain on this corner here. And then chain two for the corner. Okay, so it's just one single crochet into each stitch, chain two for the corner. Okay, I'm gonna continue and then catch up with you at the end of the round. Okay, so I'm almost finished here. So it's just one single crochet into each and every stitch, 39 single crochets on each side and always chaining two for the corners. And then we finish this last side here by doing 35 single crochets because remember we started with four. So that will make a grand total of 39 for this one as well. And as before, when we work our last stitch here, single crochet, we're working into the stitch here that was the join from round 17. And again, tuck nicely at color B, work your last single crochet around the upcoming uh, tail. And then we join into the back loop of the first single crochet of the round. Maybe I should just show you here on the back what we've been doing all along with working over our tail. It is definitely visible, but you see it's more visible here where we don't have a single crochet to work over it. So you can see it here, definitely but it's rather neat and a join is join, but it's rather neat from the back when we do it like this. And most importantly, from the front, when we have the double crochets to cover it up, it's almost completely uh, invisible, which is lovely. Now we have a couple of rounds here with just single crochets, so it's a bit visible, but I'll show you when blocking just how to maybe take care to, to, um, pin that down nicely so that it won't tell. Okay, so this was round 19, all just single crochets and chain two in the corner. To round 20, and we are now going to do our color B, and we're starting to work up our frame a bit here. Okay, so we did the chain already, and now we're gonna do two single crochets, one and two, and then we're going to do one double crochet down here into the first corner chain from round 18, and then one single crochet into the first corner chain from last round, and chain two for the corner. And now we get to our repeat for round 20, and that is as follows, one single crochet here into the first corner chain, 
one double crochet into this no into this uh, sorry this this single crochet was in the second corner chain and then there's one double crochet into the second corner chain from round 18 so it's into the same color as you you have on your hook always it's going down one round with the dcs obviously and then we do 15 single crochets it's one two Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. And again, I never count these <laughs> fifteen. I just know how to line it up. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make these here, the second two boxes here. Okay. So we just know that we want to start here. Uh, we want our we want everything to line up. You know. So. Now we're going to do one double crochet and that double crochet should be two stitches to the right from the double crochet here from from round 18. OK, obviously to the left if you're left handed. OK, so we do one double crochet here and then one single crochet and then one double crochet and that double crochet should and must. <laughs> this is where my square inner square comes in, uh, go into the double crochet here from round 18 and then there's one single crochet and another double one and that double has to go into the second double crochet here from round 18 one single and one double okay let's recap this here we've done four double crochets it's just a double single double single double single double but we really want to take care that these here two are lining up with the two from round 18 and then obviously then this one is two stitches to the right and this one is two stitches to the left and then again we do 15 single crochets Okay, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, no, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, and that's fifteen, and then we just have two stitches left here: one single crochet and one double. No, one single crochet and the chains, and then we do one double crochet down to the first corner chain from round eighteen. And then one single crochet into the first corner chain from last round and then chain two. OK, so this is the repeat for round 20 single, double, 15 singles and then a double, single, double, single, double, single, double lining up all nicely. 15 singles, one double here in the corner and then one single and the chain two for the corner. OK, so I'm going to do the rest of the round up until here and then I'm going to show you how to finish it. <laughs> OK, so I've done the second repeat and the third repeat and the start of the, the the last side here. And that one is just the same as the other repeat starts. One single crochet, one double, 15 single crochets, double, single, double, single, double, single, double. And then instead of doing 15 single crochets here at the end, we only do 13 because we already started with two here in the beginning. So now we finish round 20 with 13 single crochets. And as before, when we do our last single crochet of the round, we're going to take care to go both here into this loop here and the one sort of below it. And we're going to pop the color A up on our hook and work around it like so and then join into the back loop of the first single crochet of the round using color A our main color which is upcoming and then chain one so that's round 20 all done 
only three more rounds to go. And you can see our frame here is, is um, coming along. <laughs> that was round 20. On to round 21. Now we're using color A again. And we start by doing, we did the chain and we do four single crochets. And when I say this, I remember that <laughs> this is actually just almost all single crochet round. So we do four single crochet and chain two for the corner. And now we are going to work 21 single crochets. That is just one single crochet into each and every stitch until we get to the middle. And then we're going to do one double crochet here in the middle. And then again, 21 single crochets and chain two. I'll show you the first repeat anyways, although it is very simple. So we do 21 single crochets. The first one is in the first corner, in the second corner chain, obviously. Always into the back loop. Easy peasy. And no, I'm not counting. <laughs> it's basically just two single crochets into each stitch until you get to the middle of each side. And so, as you can see here, we have our sort of three little boxes here. And in the middle one, we're going to do the double crochet. Like so. And then we continue and do another 21 single crochet. and 21 the 21st lands here in the fourth corner chain and then chain two for the corner okay so what we're doing really is that we're breaking up what used to be like three little boxes and we're just making it to be one box here and two box here you see so that's what we're doing here now so do not forget this one double crochet here always in the middle so i'm gonna do so it's uh 21 single crochets one double crochet right smack in the middle always here and then 21 single crochets and the two chains for the corner okay so i'm going to work my way around here until about here and you do your repeats and then i'll catch up with you at the end of the round round 21 mm, close to the finish okay so we're on round 21. I've done the other two repeats here. Always adding, remember to add my one sole DC here in the middle. And the last side of our square starts exactly as the other repeats. It's just 21 single crochets here. And the 21st actually lands here in the second out of four DCs here from last round. And then we're going to do one double crochet here down in right smack in the middle of the side, each side. And then we finish it with 17 single crochets because we already started the round doing four. As you can see, our square is quite big. It's almost not fitting for the camera anymore. Okay. 15, 16 and the 16th here. The last one here. And we're going to work over our upcoming tail. And do take care to have everything extra tight and nice here at the joint because here we have joints, a couple of joints that we don't have any DCs to hide them, yeah? Not my favorite, but you know, life ain't always perfect. <laughs> but if this is the worst we have to deal with, like a, a joint that is slightly visible, uh, I think maybe 
we should just count our blessings, yeah? <laughs> At least I will. Uh, so then we join into the back loop of the first single crochet of the current round, like so, and chain one. And voila, we have round 21 all ready. Okay, so it's just two more rounds to go and then we're finished. Yay! <laughs> Okay, on to round 22. And this is the last round that we will be doing with color B, pattern color. And now we are going to do two, we already did the chain. We're gonna do two single crochets, one and two. And then we only have two stitches left here, one single crochet and the chain. And now we're gonna do one double crochet down here into the first corner chain from round 20 and one single crochet into the first corner chain from last round and two chains. And now we do the repeat for round 22, which is as follows. So we do one single crochet into the second corner chain, one double crochet into the second corner chain from round 20. And then we are going to do 15 single crochets again. So it's 15, have you noticed? I could do it in like, I don't know, Danish or French, <laughs> but then I'm just, if two things are stopping me. One, it kind of just feels like a show off. And two, I'm not, uh, my accent, both in, in French and Danish is not very good. I'm better at reading it that, than speaking it definitely. <laughs> Just, just uh, stick with the three that I, I speak quite properly. Icelandic, English and, Dan and, and Spanish. Okay, I am now going to deduct that I have done 15, but let's count. 12, 4, 6, 15. Down. And then we're going to do one double crochet, one single crochet, and one double crochet. And again, the important bit here is that the second double crochet lines up with the double crochet here from round 20, okay? And then we're gonna do five single crochets. And then again, one double, one single, and one double. So the first of the two double crochets here is supposed to line up with this one and the second one with this one. So please, please, please do make these line up. <laughs> Um, then we're going to do, I'm going to guess 15 single crochets. Well, it would be mad if it weren't 15. Well, then it would just wouldn't be centered. And then that's not, that's just, that would just be unacceptable. What do you think about that, Sui? <laughs> be horrific. Okay, 15 single crochets, and then we just have one single crochet here left, and then we're gonna do one double crochet down in the first corner chain from round 20, and one single crochet into the first corner chain from last round, and then two single crochets, uh, blah, 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 uh, two chains. So that was the repeat for round 22. And just as I continue here, uh, I just, I was just remembering, I, so one of my favorites, I'm just going to do another repeat, yeah? Uh, so one of my favorite hobbies is to, to my, my, there are two, I have two team leaders of testing, Sue from England and Sui from India. And we are great friends and they, I could not do anything without them really. <laughs> but they both have OCD and they're like really, really like, Sue is an architect, and 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 Sue was uh, like a text a text detective. I mean, they're just they're quite um, square. Isn't like the it's not a nice way to say it, but you know they have OCD and they want things to be proper and stuff. So one of my favorite <laughs> hobbies is to find like <laughs> these photos online or videos or what have you of things that just don't line up or. <laughs> So if you have any good ones, like to prank OCD people, do send them to me. <laughs> uh, 
And it's not really, it's not even crochet related or anything. Just, you know, tiles in a bath, bathroom, bathroom that don't line up and stuff like that. I love pranking them. And then the big joke is they say I have OCD as well, but I, I say that I'm just meticulous. Like I'm, it's not, I do not accept this, this, <laughs> this diagnosis. I want things. I am square. I am quite surprisingly square, but with just, there are just some things, not, not, not all things. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm some sort of like a psychotic mix of a hippie and an OCD. <laughs> what I do have is HDHD. How do you say, how, ADHD, how do HDAD. Yeah, that's what I have. But that's that's a totally different thing. So I will get really easily distracted. I'm sure you guys have not noticed that. <laughs> During my videos, yeah. I mean, it's obviously well hidden secrets. <laughs> I don't have the official diagnosis though, but my son has it. And so when I was doing his, they gave him like a list. At, at the beginning, like of what of the symptoms and what have you, and I was like, and I knew the the psychologist that was doing it with us, and I read over the list and I was like, this feels strangely familiar. Like there are a lot of things here that I that I you know I feel that I resonate with me. And she just looked at me and like laughed out loud, <laughs> saying, "Really, really, Tina? You think you think so?" So I have a very unofficial. Uh, laughing, di 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 how do you say this? Diagnosis of HDA. No, how do you say A D how do A D H D? Yeah. <laughs> but obviously, when I was a kid, you didn't get a diagnosis or anything like that. Now every other kid has some kind of a diagnosis of something. And also girls have a different because I was really, I was actually really, always did really well at school. And, you know, it was very, always did as I was told. And I was very, you know, at least for the first sort of 17, 16, 17 years of my life. <laughs> so I'm told it's different for, for girls and boys often, so my son does so not do everything that he's told in school. Oh, I wish he had the same kind as I did. <laughs> okay, that's two more repeats done and loads of oversharing. <laughs> Don't forget to send me those videos though, <laughs> please. Anything that's not lining up, just, <laughs> it's gold. <laughs> uh, done two more repeats, now we're gonna do Again, 15, no, we're going to do one single crochet, one double crochet, and then 15 singles. These are quite big actually they're like almost I think they're what 25 centimeters wide these squares when they're done and blocked okay it was 15 single crochets then there's a double crochet and a single crochet and another double and very important that this double lines up with this one here the first one from round 20 and then we have five single crochets And then there's one double that goes into the last of the four doubles here from round 20. And one single and one double. And then we are going to finish. It should be 15 and we already did two. So we're going to finish with 13 single crochets. And these are the last stitches with color B. Second to last round, you guys. Oh, I can't wait to see your blankets. God. I've been working on this since, what, late February. <laughs> okay, 13th here and last, work over our upcoming tail and we can break our yarn feet. And then we just join with color A. 
into the back loop of the first single crochet of the round, like so, and chain one. Okay, that's round 22 all done. Oops, what's this showing? That's not the way it's supposed to be. Oh, well. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. Oh, dear Lord. Why? Oh, well, obviously the camera has his, its little legs, so... Oh, it's going great. Very great. Uh, round 22, all done. Last round in color B. So there you go. I'm just gonna take it up and oh, you. There we go. That was round 22. Just one more to go. Whoop, whoop. Okay, the foot has disappeared. Don't know what happened, but I'm happy it's gone. <laughs> On to round 23, the final round. It's the final countdown. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, yes, and then we crochet. First we sing, then we crochet. So we're going to do one double crochet. And I am going to pick up our tail here from this last round and I'm going to work over it over the corner and I am going to do three single crochets last one lands in the first corner chain and then chain two and now we get to the repeat for round the final round 23 and we start with three single crochets going to work those around my tail as well and then we can just drop it like it's hot and then we do 15 sing no, double crochets this is a heavy dc round you see what we're doing here is this here we're doing we're covering up the third line and doing this last round here okay that's the ice cream truck very good that you guys are holding me back <laughs> so 15 double crochets so apparently I noticed when I was counting before apparently this is not normal in other countries but when we speak in Icelandic we spoke speak both when we're um, exhaling and inhaling so I would say like one, two, three, four, five, six. You know, you talk on both <laughs> breathing in and breathing out. I don't know if you noticed this, but it has been brought to my attention that this apparently is not normal behavior. Just, you know, filling the gap here in these 15 double crochets <laughs> with some really insignificant chatter. But, you know, there we go. Number 15. That's 15 DCs here in a row. Ooh, it's framing up so nice, isn't it? And then we're gonna do three single crochets. And then five here in the middle bit over the T. Oh, this could be like my superhero um, <laughs> sign. Uh, five here in the middle bit, DCs. This round is almost all DCs. It takes a while actually. And then three single crochets, and then again 15 doubles. Okay, I'm just doing my best not to think of something inappropriate and oversharing. <laughs> Maybe I should just shut up. <laughs> or sing. <laughs> Okay, almost there. Fourteen and fifteen. And then we do three single crochets. 
last one here of the three lengths in the first corner chain and then chain two for the corner. Okay, so this is the repeat for round 23, the final round. And now I'm going to continue and go all over the other sides and just show you how to finish it up, but it's always the same as this one. Okay, should I tell you again? Three singles, 15 doubles, three singles, five doubles, three single, 15 doubles, three singles, and two chains in each corner. Okay, I'm gonna work it up all the way up to about here, and then we finish the round together. Oh my God, almost there. <laughs> okay, so I've done the rest of the round here, as you can see, repeat number two and three. And then we start the final side here, just exactly as the other repeats. Three, C, D, no, three single crochets here, 15 double crochets, three singles, five doubles, three singles. And then we finish the round with 14 double DCs, double DCs, <laughs> double uh, crochet stitches, because we started with one here. So we get a total of 15 there as well. So I'm going to do these 15 with you and we are finishing our first Amma Square, you guys. Wow! <laughs> okay, let me get Michael to put in some <laughs> uh, sound effects, maybe, rather than try to do it myself. You see here here we get to the join and this one we can kind of hide you see there's two stitches here that we could go into always choose the the one that is below so that we hide the join better and then there's the last stitch here whoop whoop and cut and then we pull the yarn straight up whoop <laughs> And then we're going to thread our needle, sewing needle, and weave in this last end. And we do that with the invisible join, going over this, this first DC here and doing it into the first single crochet of the round, just going under it like so, Oppa, under both loops of the stitch, and then back again into the back stitch, back loop of the last stitch that we were doing, like so, and then we get a perfect stitch here, finishing, and it just looks like a normal stitch. And then we weave in our end, and just a few stitches here. And do take care to not pull too tightly at this here, because we want our last invisible join here stitch to be the same gauge as the others, so don't really tuck it really tight there. And again, and there we go, and it's just to cut. And we had already worked over this tail here, so just tuck that nicely and cut that as well. Like so, et voila! We have the full square, the first Amasaya square. Oh, such fun. I'm going to wet this now to show you how to block it because please, 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 please block your squares. <laughs> it is just so much better. Uh, I usually will block all the squares separately and then I will block the piece at the end. Sometimes you don't need to block at the end if you do block all your squares. Uh, but I mean, it just makes everything, you, you're gonna see. I mean, now it looks like this and it's fine. I'm not saying that's better or anything, but it's all a bit wonky and you can see the difference here between this one and this one, yeah? I mean, and also you guys, okay, just to, to uh, sort of um, play to your vanity. <laughs> We all know that we like to post pics of our work on social media and uh, a pic of a, an unblocked square versus a pic of a blocked square. Well, there is just no comparison. So to get those likes up, you guys, <laughs> do block before posting. It's way nicer, it really is. Okay, I'm gonna wet this one and show you how to, how to block it. Just a few tricks to get it neat and nice and straight, yay!
Okay, last step is blocking. So what I will do is uh, I will just wet the square completely. I will usually do these like, I will finish like four or five and then I'll do them all in a row, but I'm gonna show you here now, so I'll just do it right away. And so I actually, when I did the square, <laughs> I kind of uh, made it a size that would fit my, these are standard uh, sized um, uh, <laughs> blocking tiles. <laughs> I just measured it, it's like, um, it's 27 centimeters, no, 27 and a half centimeters uh, wide, and that would be almost 11 inches. So these fit exactly. So it really makes everything loads easier to just can use, I can use the lines on this one here. So the first bit, ah, yeah, okay. So when you, um, when you wet it, just take care not to use like really hot water, just, you know, warm water and just try and sort of, um, you know, don't wring it a lot or anything. It's sensitive at this point when you wet the wool, then it's, uh, then it's very, um, easy to, it's very suggestive. You could say <laughs> it's really easy to sort of uh, mold it into any shape, but you don't want it to be get felted or anything like that. So you don't want to wring it really hard or just try just to just just get it wet all the way through and not like be touching it without, you know, more than you have to. Okay, so the first thing we do, oh, this is so big it hardly fits in the camera and this is like a wide shot. Okay, so first thing you do is that we pin down all the corners. And I am using these here. It's really nice to have these T-pins for blocking. So we start by pinning out down all the corners just in the two chains in the corners. Those go into each and every corner. That's the first step. It's a bit uncomfortable to do this with the camera in the middle, so just bear with me. Okay, so now that we have all our corners pinned out, then we want to start doing our sides. So just stretch it a bit. It feels like this one was a bit um, tight gauge with me. Maybe I was, was I, am I stressed when I'm crocheting with you? I didn't think so, but yeah. Okay, and then what I have are these blocking pins and they really, I can really, um, I can really recommend these. It's like little combs and it just makes really, it makes it so much easier to block when you have these to make straight lines. So we will start here in the middle bit and just pull it to the line of the edge of your, of your blocking square and pin it down like so. Okay, and then what we want to do is on each corner, not only put it here in the in the corner, but also take and put one T-pin here into each one of the, sorry, these the blocking pins are making noise. Taking each corner here, do you see the black ones and sort of uh, take it out so it makes a little square so it's not... You see this one here before doing that, it's a bit stretched. Well, we don't want it stretched. We just want it to be really like square like so. So this is the bit where you're kind of just forming it like if it were clay. Okay, and then always take the middle bit here, start in the middle to get the corners and then the middles of each side. Get that start by getting that straightened out and I just keep moving it. I have my, my, my table here filled with all the squares that I've already made because I want to show you guys how nice it is to stack them up when you block it. I really, I'm very invested that you guys block. <laughs> this is personal, personal. I see this is a personal, um, how do you call it? Um, uh, what do you call it when somebody is like running a call for like for uh, for for office or something? It's like a personal, obviously not a vendetta. That's not the word I'm looking for. <laughs> uh, it's a personal ambition of mine that you all block, preferably before before posting any pics. <laughs> Extra points for that. Okay. Okay. So we do this bit here. 
and just sort of push it to the the border here to the, so it's straight and then when you have it pretty much straight then you pin it down like so I love blocking I think it's just absolutely magnificent <laughs> I think it's so nice and smooth and mm -mm -mm. and you see the Icelandic wool is quite hairy <laughs> okay take up the middle bit here make it form a straight line with our the side here and boom, put the pin it down and then I'm just gonna put one here on each other side they, they have two sizes in these uh, blocking pin boxes okay and you want to kind of put it in like this you see so the stitches are here and you're gonna put it uh, on the like, like if you were going into the stitches, almost sort of. Okay, push. Also, I just didn't think that this tutorial was long enough as is, so I just wanted to add just a bit. <laughs> push and fasten. On we go, round and round we go. Okay, so we always start with the outer circle, obviously, and then we can do some extras inside as well. This is really the, the part where everything just, if you made some sort of boo boo, this is the bit where we can make it almost all just go away. There is my camera foot again. Why does this keep happening to me? see here we have our join so this is a bit where we want to be extra meticulous maybe I'm gonna put two in here just to be sure that everything is perfect and then one more here oh, now I used my last one wait some in blocking as we speak. I'm getting more pins here, small ones. Okay, I'm back. Um, this is the last bit here. Okay, so straight up you see that this is all, you know, way better like this now we have all our edges straight so that's the first bit and there we go and now what we can do is focus a bit on the middle so what we have in the middle bit is um there are a few things so this here where we have a heavy zone of dcs we want to kind of take these down a bit so i will use these combs just to i don't even have to pin them in i just use them to sort of make a straight line here and pull them a bit down on each side here always below and you see just like here now this is not a straight line so we want basically just all our lines to be straight and so we're going to take it down and pull it a bit here you can pin it down but it's actually just not necessarily really because the wool at this stage just when you wet the wool it's just a wonderful wonderful natural um material to work with when you wet it then it's just really it's like clay in your hand it should be it's like wool in your hand <laughs> okay so now that we've got all of these here straight what's happening here yeah mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. these are all straight just you know go over all your lines make sure that they're straight and nice and then what we want to do as well is that we want to see this here it just bulges just a bit here 
on all the the bits here. So I'm going to take each one of the the double crochet here, the first double crochet really where we divided the two uh, petals and just pull it in just a bit. Okay, like so. And you may say that this is unnecessarily meticulous and you have the right to have that opinion. I do not agree. I think there is nothing as Nothing really that is doing, I mean, what you going to say? I'm doing too good of a job. I mean, you know, who's going to be criticizing that? You know, that's just insane. <laughs> but really, like at this point, you really can just take your time and sort of, you know, be, um, you know, make it all just picture perfect and, uh, and it will be worth it. Also, let's just, before we finish, Let's take a look. I mean, the join here is quite good. You can, if you feel that it's acting up a bit, and you can take it and, you know, try and, and for example, take this white here and just pull it a bit up. And there is another white here. I mean, but this is, this is not really, it's quite good. It's not really, this black here may be a bit down, but, Okay, this is being too meticulous. <laughs> but if your join maybe isn't looking so hot, then this is the part where you can really uh, just line it all up. And yeah, so this is it. So now it's just uh, ready to dry. I pop mine onto the radiator because we have like hot water radiators in Iceland. Don't know where you live or what kind of situation you have uh, in your home, but uh, you know, obviously it's quicker on a radiator, but if not, it will dry at least in, you know, maximum 24 hours or something like that. And then now to the part where, where, where I continue to try and, and, and persuade you to do your blocking. And then it's just, I mean, it's just so nice. You see mine here all like, you can just, you know, they stock them up like this all blocked. I mean, it's just, uh, it's, it's lovely, isn't it? Who doesn't want, why wouldn't you want to block? I mean, and these are photo ops as well. You know, look at this. Isn't it lovely? Isn't it lovely? I'm so happy with my work and you, <laughs> so, am I not supposed to, but it's just so nice when you have them all blocked and ready. And I have almost now, I only have four more to do for my, and uh, Amma. And that's why I'm doing the video on the on the absolute last four that I'm doing. So four more to go and then I can start joining. Mm, such fun. Love joining too. So do block. It just so is so worth it. And, you know, like I said, you will definitely get some extra points with me at least. That's it for today. Thank you so much. And next up is the Amalola Square, which is... Not here, but you know, obviously I hadn't planned that, but that's it for today then. Okay, hope you have fun with your ammas. Ciao!